welcome back to my channel. Hi, boo boos. How you doing? How your mama's doing? Uh, okay. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So, as you know, the first thing I'm going to ask you guys is to hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Gosh, it feels like I don't do enough videos anymore. I forget what I'm supposed to be saying. Um, a lot, a lot of changes as always. I know y'all get tired of me saying, oh, it's changes coming, the change is coming. The change is coming, the change is coming. Well, you know, as it approaches the end of the year, we always start to reflect and see what we need to do better, what we need to do different, you know, blah, 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 blah. At least that's what I think most people start thinking of how you want to, you know, change, improve, so on and so forth. Um, so I am no different this year. There are things I want to work on. There's things I want to let go. There's things I want to add. So on and so forth in both my personal life and within this hobby. Now I have fell so in love with this baby. I've loved him from the moment I opened him. Mainly, I fell in love with his face, of course, and then I fell in love with his softness. And once I painted him, I don't know, but I am just really, really something about this baby. I'm really, really drawn to him. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take pictures. He is a baby that's supposed to be up for sale, as you guys know how the game go with me. Um, I was taking pictures for him because I was thinking maybe I might go ahead and just put him on eBay bald. Um, so as I was taking his photos and I was changing his clothes, I was like, you know, I don't know. I, I thought to myself, this may be one baby that I just might want to finish myself. And so I decided that I think what I will do is go ahead and, um, that's him with his legs straightened out. And I just kind of tuck him to give it a little bit of you know a different look um i said you know i might want to finish his look and finish and root him myself so i'll just keep him and i might just want to hang out with him and do some other things to him that i want to do um like for instance his nails i didn't tip his nails or anything so i was thinking i may tip his nails i know that's something that a lot of people like i personally do not like a lot of tipping to the nails is just a personal preference for me and so I am thinking I am going to hold on to him get him rooted um he feels really good when I hold him so I that's I, that's one of my things I like his weight um and I love like you know that his little head just turns really really nice and stuff and I, I love the way he turned out um he's not flawless of course um and i never claim for any of my babies to be flawless to be honest so i'm a little less than others and so i usually adjust their prices accordingly but um this one it's kind of crazy because there are some little things nuances within my painting like you can see a few paint strokes here or there which I think is kind of normal but for me I'm such OCD and I'm always like tripping off a little stuff um but I think for me when I finish doing what I want to do to him I don't know so his price may change depending on what else I do to him um behind the scene as far as working on him paint um he has beautiful veining i don't know if you guys will be able to see it all let's see if i can put some more light over to him nope that's not working nope that's not working um let's see i don't know how to get where you guys can see 
But anyway, he has a lot of nice soft veins going through like his in his forehead area, in his arms, his legs. He just he, he has beautiful veining and his coloring is really nice. I think he is like absolutely like a golden um just in my opinion the golden uh color of a perfectly biracial baby um that's what i think i think his coloring is just like really really nice i don't know it's just you know and i'm a little biased it's my work um but again i'm very critical of myself so um and his sculptor is Jennifer something Costello. Um, and I really, I don't know. I like her silicone a lot, a lot. So I like the way it feel. Um, this is my first one from her. So I don't know if, you know, this is the way all of hers feel or if this just happened to be, you know, one good pour out of, you know, others. I have not not enough data to say that, you know, it's consistent and blah, 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 blah. But for basing off of just this one, this one would be a pair of what my top favorites to paint off of. Um, so in love. So, so, so in love with him. Um, as far as his, his, um, you know, the only reason I haven't like said, okay, I'm just, I know this baby is going to stay in my collection or anything like that is because I have a bit of babies in this size. Um, so I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. Um, with every baby that we collect, there's always something that we're going to like or not like about the baby. Um, rather it's in the painting, the sculpting, the rooting, um, I don't know. Uh, it's, you know, it's like we cannot get the perfect baby and maybe because humans are not perfect and this is handmade art. And so, um, so with that being said. I love his 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 belly button too. Um, I know he has on clothes now, so you really can't see that. Let me see. I may be able to show you guys. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. You will just have to put this back up. But his little belly button. I don't know if you guys can. You guys see his belly button? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you see his belly button? So he has a like a little Audi belly button. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look, look how soft he is. He's so soft. And look how he wrinkles. Oh my gosh. It's so sweet. Um, so I love his little belly button. I love um, like I said, I love his. If you haven't seen when I did a, a kit review of the actual kit, um, I think I kind of Said what I like and what I don't like, whatever. But I love this hand, and it's still, still same. I, I really love this hand. Um, yeah. Overall, I think he's a really nice baby. And I think because he can fit a lot of newborn stuff. I think the only time that you might find that you might want to try to do some preemie is when you get into hold on sorry when you get into the uh pants i feel like his legs are more on the shorter side just because they're bent up um but yeah um but I don't know, I think he's, I, I still think he's pretty proportioned. So I love that his head, he has a nice size head too. That's the other thing. But yeah, I think I'm going to just wait and, and then just save him amongst the other babies that I plan to root next year. And I think I'm just going to root him and, and then I'll put him up for sale. So, 
um, it'll allow me time to to really spend time with him and dress him so see what type of clothes he can fit and can't fit and what he looks good in and then I will continue to take pictures throughout the process and you guys will get to see him and get to be familiar with him and know if maybe this might be a baby you might want to bring home um I was at one point trying to, you know, lower my prices a little bit to make some of my babies affordable because a lot of people were saying, you know, they really want to get one of my babies, but, you know, sometimes they can't afford them. But um, I don't know how much that's going to work next year because I'm starting to really put a lot in my work. I've always done that, but I feel like I... I just feel like I should, you know, set my prices and let that be that. Um, you know, I, I would love for everybody to be able to have one of my babies, but I really don't have any control over that. Um, so I am going to um, price them according to how I feel like they are worth. Um, and we will go from there. But... I, mm, we'll see. So once he get fully completed, I will reintroduce him and I will decide on his price at that point. And I will uh, definitely update you guys and keep you guys, you know, in the loop of everything. I don't know why my lighting is so crazy. Um, so yeah, so that's him. So anyway, like I said, I'm letting go a lot of babies in my collection, in my personal collection and in babies that I'm painting to sell. So we never know who's going to end up staying around here and who's going to be leaving. It might be somebody you least expect that'll go and somebody that you least expect stays. And some of you guys might be like, oh. Well, why would she keep that one over that one? Um, I think it. I think next year is going to bring a, a lot of more. Um, I don't know. You guys are probably not surprised with me at all at this point, but I don't know. I feel like some of the changes and the things that I'm deciding to do may may shock a couple of you guys. Some of you guys might be like, "Oh, I didn't think she was going to get rid of that one." That's just like when I let Jaden go. A lot of people are like, "Oh my God, I didn't think she would sell Jaden." Um, and as I look at him, <laughs> I think to myself, are you lost your everlasting mind? <laughs> oh my gosh. But you know, it is what it is. Um, so I haven't lost my everlasting mind, but I am going to shed off some babies. Like I said, I got to thin down. Um, the giveaway baby. I am going to do a separate video of that. Um, I was going to do it live. I'm not sure if I'll do it live. Um, at this point, life is just so busy right now. But um, I have spoken to the person who won my free baby giveaway. And I have given them options. I just haven't had a chance to really sit down and try to uh, photograph the baby and um, but I think we're gonna I'll announce that and you guys will get to the outcome of that because you know with this community it's all about you know making sure that you let everybody know that you kept your word you know because a lot of people do things and then you know um, I don't want nobody to think I'm doing anything like, oh, she did a giveaway, but she didn't ever give her the baby. You know, if I ever hit, like, of course, I know this probably won't happen, but if I ever hit like a hundred thousand subscribers or something crazy like that, then yes, by all means, absolutely. I'm going to probably do something crazy major. Um, hell, if I hit a hundred thousand so as far as I just might paint a silicone baby and give it away for free. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah. Brady 
is going to be right now he's my little Christopher because he looks like a Christopher and since Lulu is going to be sold I won't have a Christopher so until he goes away because I already have a Brayden in here and I get confused when I'm saying his name I will be referring to him as my Christopher for now